I'm going to show you how to use the Medicare.gov plan finder to find the best prescription drug plan. I'm going to show you how to import your medications, choose your pharmacy, and sort all the plans based on what's going to be the most cost effective. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Jamie Banner, and I'm the founder of Medicare by Jamie. I'm a licensed insurance agent that works specifically with people enrolling into Medicare. And today, I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to use the Medicare.gov plan finder. Now, before we get started, if you find the information in this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and leave a comment down below. All right, let's transition over to the plan finder. All right, so we're on the Medicare.gov website, and we're going to go right to the middle of the page and click where it says Find 2020 Health and Drug Plans. Now, once we click here, it's going to bring us to a login page. So Medicare used to make it where you could just put your drugs in and you would have like a daily password. You could come and access that drug list multiple times. But now all that's changed towards the end of the 2019. And now they want you to create an account where you can save all your information. Since I'm not in Medicare, I'm going to just go ahead and click continue without logging in. And here it's going to ask me a few quick questions to kind of narrow down what I need. And the first one is, what do you need? And I need a Part D prescription drug plan. And then it's going to ask me to enter in my zip code. And you can see it's got my zip code and my county. And then it's going to ask me, do I get help with the cost of these programs? And I'm going to click, no, I don't get any help. On the next page, it's going to ask me if I want to see the drug cost. So this is really important. If you take prescription drugs, you're going to want to put yes because it's going to show you the different costs based on the different plans. And then it's going to ask, how do I fill my prescriptions? And I'm going to just put both to kind of see what my least expensive option is going to be. So once I get here, I'm going to put in some pretty common medications that I hear people say they take all the time. The first one's going to be lisinopril. Put that in there and I'm going to say 20 milligrams 30 times every month and I'm going to add it to my drug list. I'm also going to add another one that I hear a lot is atorvastatin. Get that pretty often. Again, dosage, quantity, and I'm going to add it to my drug list. And that's all I'm going to add for right now. So I'm going to click done adding drugs. Next, it's going to ask me to choose a pharmacy and I'm going to pick two pretty big ones. I'm going to pick a Walmart and I'm going to pick a Walgreens. And I'm going to click done. So on the next page, it's going to show me all the available drug plans in my area. You can see there's 27 plans in my area. And we can sort these plans a couple different ways. So you can sort them by lowest yearly drug deductible, lowest drug and premium cost, or lowest monthly premium. The best way to sort it is going to be the lowest drug and premium cost. Because your premium, you're going to pay every month regardless. And the drug cost is what you're going to pay if you pick up these prescriptions every month. So once we load that, it's going to load it based on the lowest kind of annual cost for us. And that's what we really want to look at. So as you can see right in the center, it's going to show us what our annual cost is for both the estimated total drug and the premium cost combined. And this is going to be from lowest to highest. So we're going to check out this plan. It's got 145.20 for our retail cost. So we're going to click plan details. Now on the overview, you're gonna see things like your premium and your deductible. And I have another video where I discuss a lot more in depth the deductible, initial coverage, donut hole, and catastrophic coverage. I'm gonna link it down below. It's gonna explain those a little bit more because if you've got some more expensive drug costs, it's gonna be very, very important to kind of get to know those terms. And also a lot of drug plans have yearly deductibles. Like this one, you can see there's a $435 deductible as well as a monthly premium of $1320. So if we scroll down here, we can see our cost before and after the deductible is zero dollars. And that's because these are like tier one drugs. So generally they don't have a high cost. So that's pretty good for us. So if we go a little lower, you can see our monthly cost if we pick up these medications every month, not including the premium, is zero dollars. So essentially our 145.20 yearly cost is gonna be our monthly premium. And now you're thinking, well, why am I going to pay a premium if I've got a monthly drug cost of $0? It's $0 based on the plan. And also, sometimes people like to pick up drug plans because, yes, you're on these medications now, but we don't know what's going to happen two, three, four months down the road. And since drug plans kind of restrict us as to when we can change to add, 
sometimes it's really beneficial to have these drill plans kind of in your back pocket in case hope for the best, you know, prepare for the worst. So pretty inexpensive on this one. You can see though, if we change our pharmacy, the Walgreens, it's not a preferred pharmacy anymore. And we can end up paying about $8 a month for these drugs. So when you want to look into whether your pharmacies are preferred pharmacies or whether they're just standard pharmacies. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to add another drug. I'm going to pick kind of a more expensive medication to show you how the cost can go up. So I'm going to edit my drugs. I'm going to add another one. Let's do Humalog. So I'm going to add this drug here and you're going to see it's going to offer me the ability to make it a generic, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to, I'm sticking to my brand name. I like this brand name drug. I'm going to do my dosage, my package, and I'm going to add it to my drug list. We're done adding drugs. I'm going to keep my same pharmacies. And now you're going to see everything's going to change a little bit. So with this one, again, sorted by lowest drug and premium cost, but now our lowest premium is about $65.30 monthly. And you can see our annual cost is $1,202.58. So it's kind of jumped up a bit because of this drug. So let's kind of get into this one and see what's changed. So as you can see, we've got our 6530 premium and we've also got a hundred dollar deductible. So our deductible is a little bit lower than the other plan, but it's still going to be more costly in the long run. So you can see the Humalog, our cost before the deductible is $2. Our cost after the deductible is $2. But look at cost in the coverage gap, $139.58. So that's when we fall into our coverage gap, also known as the donut hole. So if we look down from February to September, we're only paying $7.12 for our drugs, which isn't too bad. But come October, we're hitting that coverage gap, which again, I explained a lot more in depth in that other video linked down below. We're paying $144.70 a month for the last three months of the year. And if we go down to another pharmacy, it's about the same thing, maybe a couple dollars less here, but really you're going to hit that coverage gap. And there's a couple ways to avoid that coverage gap, you know, with these drugs that it offers us a generic. Generics are a great option to do. You can talk to your doctor about seeing if there's a generic for your expensive medications. You can also request from the manufacturer a less expensive medication. There's always applications to get your, your number decrease that's a good option to look at too. I hope you found this video helpful kind of showed you when to enroll in drug plan and how to do it if you want to do it yourself. If you have any questions you can always call me my number is 833-65-JAMIE you can also email me jamie at medicarebyjamie.com or you can visit my website at medicarebyjamie.com. If you like this video please give that thumbs up and subscribe leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching. And if you stay tuned, I'm going to give you a tour of my website. It's going to show you exactly how to request a Medicare supplement plan quote, as well as get access to some free resources I've got for you. So it's really important and I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jamie Banner, the founder of Medicare by Jamie. I'm going to give you a quick run through of my website so you can easily navigate and find all the important links and information I provided for you. So when we get started, we're going to be right on the home page. And the first thing you can see is you can request a Medicare supplement plan quote. And that's what I do. I assist people in finding the best Medicare supplement plan options for them. So if you go ahead and put your zip code in there and a couple other basic pieces of information, I can get you the best supplement plan quote in your area. Once we get away from there and we go up to the top, we can see the resource center. So if we click on the resource center, we've got a couple options under there. The first one's gonna be video library. So when we click there, it's gonna take you to a page that shows you all of my YouTube videos. So all my videos will be on there along with their titles. So you can easily kind of search through them and see what video you're looking for based on your current needs. There's also a button up there that says subscribe to YouTube. So that will take you straight to my YouTube channel where you can subscribe, comment, do whatever you need and find all the videos you need. When we go back to the resource center, the next link is going to say important links. And that's going to be a ton of different hyperlinks that sh give a lot of information like finding doctors that take Medicare, maybe filing a claim if you had something, lots of different things that can take you out to show you things you can do for Medicare. And the last section is going to be guides and forms. Now this one is really important. I've listed a ton of forms that are going to be very important for Medicare. Stuff like employer coverage forms if you're still working past 65, 
IRMA appeal forms, maybe if you need to check your Part B premium based on your income. I have all of that here, plus a lot of different informative PDF, so that's gonna give you as much information as you need in Medicare, because that's what we want. We want you to be completely educated on everything Medicare related, so you can make the best and most informed decision. I've also got it up here where everything is divided into categories. So if you need to find something a little bit faster, just click one of these categories, and it's gonna narrow it down to things involved in that section. Again, if you have any questions, you can always call me. My number is 833-65-JAMIE. You can also email me at jamie at medicarebyjamie.com or you can go to the website and hit the contact us button and you can send me a little information. I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.